Greetings. My name is David Zokaitis, and I've got two topics for tonight. One is how people should deal when, with each other when they need to discuss things, and the other is, let's make a deal. It'll be fun, I guarantee. All right, so Now, when people ha are trying to deal with difficult topics, I see two different strategies for their discussions. The, the one method is you know, evidence-based, the policies for the common good, and it's open, it's honest, it's scientific. And I see other cases where people try to hide their actual goals, and they do too much of appearances and not enough of the underlying substance. Two different methods. Okay. So now, if you're going to have an evidence-based policy, you've got a rational discussion, you've got clearly stated goals, you calmly describe your evidence, you might cite reputable sources, you can draw realistic conclusions. And if I happen to be the mayor here in a few months, well, we're going to see all of this all the time. On the other hand, there are some situations where I've seen where people use rhetoric for hidden goals. These are tactics that people use to shore up weak postulates. When they don't have anything solid behind what they're trying to say, they do these kind of things. And it's often unconscious. You might use distracting emotional arguments. You can fabricate supporting evidence, make up some stories. You can insult other people. Or, now, let's look at Donald Trump and his North Korea tweets. He's trying to get everybody all riled up, but what is he doing in the background when we're all riled up about these ridiculous tweets? And sometimes here in Sioux Falls City Council, the public speakers get a little overboard, and sometimes counselors get overboard, and we should try to avoid that. It's not very helpful. So my conclusion for this little tidbit here is that we've got different tactics for different goals, we see both of these, and sometimes it's disheartening, and sometimes it's pretty cold. Now, it's been cold here lately, so I thought that we should all try to enjoy winter. That's a self-portrait on the bike trail. All right, so here's topic two. Let's make a deal. Let's suppose that you need a new truck for work, big, solid truck. You want a crew crab, want an eight-foot bed, tandem back wheels, good, solid pickup. But on the other hand, hey, maybe you talk to the salesman who wants to sell you an iconic truck instead. It's going to be twice the cost, maybe a little bit more. It's going to be a little bit smaller, regular bed, or regular cab, short bed. Oh, and then here's the, here's the sneaky part. Vinny, he gets to rent it cheap every Saturday. OK, so obviously, nobody wants a deal like that. But compare that crazy deal to the city's deal with this uh, parking rent. We had an estimate from the Walker parking professionals for $10 million. So they decided, hey, we can double that. And then instead of getting you know, almost 700 spaces, we got maybe 400. So it's quite a bit higher cost than what these Walker guys recommended. Now, if you want to protect your personal funds, chances are you would cancel this iconic pickup truck first chance you got. Well, I think you should deal with city funds with the same kind of protection. You should cancel this iconic parking grant because it's so terribly expensive. Anyway, that's my opinion. Oh, hey, you got to check this out. This is pretty cool. We, I, I, we think I, I like to enjoy color. This is a graffiti board that was officially sanctioned. And look what somebody put in the corner. Wasn't me. And with that, I bid everybody a good evening.